Alex Haley told the story of seven generations of his mother's family in Roots. Queen completes the family saga with the story of his father's family. This is that story, exactly as Alex Haley wanted it told. And it is to his memory that this miniseries is dedicated. Swim. We do the wash, sir. There's soap in the water. Oh, don't bother me none. I could use a bath. <laughs> you hear me? Out of there. Get them out of there. Mary, Jesse, come on. He will encourage me. <laughs> they scared, sir. They can't move. Well, they better learn quick. Come on, Negra. Swim for it. Come on. What's going on here? He's teaching your niggas some manners. That's not your place. You harm them and you'll pay for them. Come on, Jackson. For God's sake, Jackson, it was only sport. We don't make sport with our slaves. Now, you love your niggas. Wesley, I will make you sorry if you ever bother one of our slaves again. Nigger lover. Look out, master. <laughs> Get up. with nigger lovers. <laughs> Wasn't ready for the others. As long as I should have been. Why, well, you whipped him good lots of times, Master. That boy just ain't never gonna learn, that's all.
wedding, she says. Nothing but a charade and a fiasco. Just so a couple of Negroes can jump over the broom. I feel faint just thinking about it. Oh, to think that the president's daughter-in-law could do such a thing, well, that's Yankees for you. And I say it's hardly a Yankee. Well, she might as well be mixing slaves and white folk at a social event. Can you imagine? That's your son, James. Yes. Well, he's a fine young man. Best keep him out of my Lizzie's sight. She's got an eye out for both. Brother's so handsome. Last time I saw him, he was all gangly and spotty. Why doesn't he come talk to us? Oh, he's probably been in a fight. Happens a lot. He likes to pretend that we don't know, so Easter cleans him up and mends his clothes. Easter? Slave girl. She does all the weaving. Oh, is that all? Whoa. <laughs> See to the horses. Yes. Easter. My shirt needs mending. You hurt bad. Only my pride. I couldn't win against all of them. Thank you, Massa, for what you done. How's Jassy? She gonna be fine. I shouldn't have even been on our land. <laughs> you tell them next time, Issa. They ain't never gonna pay no damn mind to a slave. Why? I have to, if only to stop you chattering. Oh, ow! For pity's sake. They whoop me. Or worse, they sell me from here like they did my mammy. That won't ever happen, Issa. You won't ever be sold away. This is your home. It always will be. Besides, whatever would I do without you? That I'll be fine, Master, but I still don't get to go to no wedding. What wedding? Young Master James is taking the family to Nashville next month, Parson Dick, for a wedding. Yes, sir. I know, sir. And you're not going. Now, how would you know that? Everybody knows it, sir. The president's slave Alfred is marrying Miss Gracie. Now, why is it when anything happens in this country, all the slaves know all about it eons before we do? Jungle drums, perhaps, my son? Well, that's exactly right. Voodoo, that's what it is. Sheer voodoo. <laughs> Whites and negras at the same way. Disgraceful, ma'am. I agree. You see, even the negras are again. it. Miss Lizzie, you look lovely. Tess. Just thinking about these nigger nuptials makes me glow. Poor Mama's in a terrible parlor. Aren't you going? Of course we're going. If only to see Miss Sarah make a fool of herself. Girl, my shawl. Everyone's going. I don't know if I am. Such a pity. I would have saved your place in my dance card. Oh, fool girl. <laughs> Sorry, Miss. That's the best French chiffon. Please don't do that. Well, she's just a clumsy... We don't treat our slaves that way. Well, I declare. Are you a Negro lover? It's a wonder you ain't going to Nashville. Our old friend Alfred is getting married at last, Captain Jack. Yes, sir. So I hear, Well, sir. she'll be going to Nashville as Master James's valet. But there's more. Oh, I can't read, sir. Now, you know it ain't legal. You can damn sure read as well as you and I can. Very well, then. The president writes that Alfred would like you to be his best man. And, of course, you have my permission. That's wonderful news. <laughs> Were you right to tell him I accept? I already have. Thank you, Captain Jack. What is it? <clears throat> it's my daughter, Easter, sir. You know... And his girl. She wants to go to that wedding more than anything, so it'd mean the world to her. Well, of course. She can tend the ladies. Is that all? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Jamesy, will you wait a moment? I remember my own father, God rest his soul, when he collared me in such a talk before I left for the new world. Personal matters with you, Jamesy. But now, they must be even and direct. It is time you were married. Yes, sir. Good then. 
We have, uh, that is, I have prepared a list of eligible heiresses for your consideration. Daughters of planters, all of them. The Parkins girl is my first choice. Her family is quite agreeable to it all, and you seem quite taken with herself as well. Liz is... Liz is charming, uh, but she's... I don't know if I love her. Where do you get these wretched ideas? Love has nothing to do with it. It's for sons, Jamie. Heirs to, to inherit all that I've created here. Love can come later, if you're fortunate. You know, the first time I saw your mother, I thought she was the most beautiful creature I'd ever seen. And I wanted her at that very moment. But I didn't love her then, at that very moment. I didn't know her. I'd not even spoken to her. Love came later, with knowledge. The more I came to know her, the more I loved her. Until now, I cannot bear to be apart from her. But we were married for different reasons. We married for mutual benefit. We married for family. And it's high time you did the same, Jamie. Now then, this Perkins girl would bring a fine dowry. And her breeding is grand as well. So, if there's no one else on the list, I suggest you put your mind to it. No, sir. What? No, sir. There's no one else. Ah, there's a good lad. Come along, we'll have a drink on it then. Yes, sir. No, I don't. Don't hear any hesitation on that score. <laughs> It's going to be a wonderful wedding. The talk of the South. I certainly am looking forward to it. Well, I hope you have a nice time dancing with that Miss Lissy. <laughs> Don't be mean, Easter. Just because she slapped you, I told her off. And couldn't take your eye off her. Well, Miss Liz is very charming. I sure am looking forward to seeing her again. And who are you going to dance with? At the wedding. Yes, you can go. Go, my sister's maid. <laughs> <laughs> We wouldn't have missed it for the world, Sarah. You know, my husband, Andrew Jackson, Jr. Oh, that's my pleasure, sir. Will your father be able to call? No, uh, sadly, no. The affairs of state keep him in Washington. Oh, our daughter, Elizabeth. I never say such dresses. Now, you simmer down, Missy. You mind your manners. There's important people here. Well, this is quite a fuss you've stirred up. <laughs> so glad you're here. Well, of course. You know, we're not sure if anyone would come. <laughs> Sarah, my father is the president. Now, who would turn you down? <laughs> James? Mrs. Jackson? James. Mr. Jackson? How do you Albert? <laughs> Sir, <laughs> you hold <laughs> <fun with you. laughs> Would you shut? This here is Gracie, Jack. Ain't you the prettiest thing? I don't listen. Now, how did this old grizzly bear catch something as lovely as you? Nah, speaking of pretty things. <laughs> oh, this here'll be Easter. Me and Annie's girl. Well, little sweetheart, you just make sure you have the best time yet. Yes, sir. Oh, you've done fine, Jack. <laughs> just fine. <laughs>
with it. We can't let the niggas have all the fun. <laughs> Sell it. this girl? Come along, Easter. I expect you have work to do. the music. What am I paying you fellas for? <laughs> Hush, Easter. It was an accident. No one's going to blame you. They all do. There you are, James. I have found a place for you on my dance card. Look after her, Captain Jack. No strenuous activity of any kind. Leave it all to your son. He's quite capable. How long might I have? That's impossible to predict. I'm sorry, James. Suddenly, everything seems so very urgent. Yes, Martha? I want to thank you for the many years you've been with me, Captain Jack. No one could have served me better. Thank you, Martha. When you first came to me, you know I didn't hold with slavery in this land. But it was the custom here. So, I promised you that if you worked for me willingly and well, I would give you your freedom one day. Here is that freedom now. 
Perhaps a little later than it should have been. No. No, thank you, Master. Don't do this to me. Long time ago, when I wanted to marry Annie, I asked you for my freedom. And you told me no. Wasn't time. But I needed you then. You broke your promise to me. And you let my Annie be sold away. So, what good is freedom to me now? I'm old. What would I do? Where would I go? What's left in my life is here with Easter. But you can stay here. Free. Yes, I'll stay. And I'll work for you till the end of my days. But every time you see me, every time you look at me, you'll remember what you did to my Annie and the promise that you broke to me. When I was a young man in Ireland, I fought against the British. That was a cause I believed in, because they had enslaved us. And I would have given my life for that cause. When I was a young man, I didn't believe in slavery. Then I came here, and I got rich. And I forgot what I believed in. I broke my promise to a man who was my most loyal friend. No law against it. There is because I say so now. Clear off. Cause you buck naked. Don't you talk that way, Easter. Bet you gonna let Miss Perkins watch you. And don't you talk that way about Miss Perkins. It Miss Perkins this and Miss Perkins that all the time these days. What become a plain old listed? You wouldn't understand, Easter. Oh, I understand all right. You got the fever for Miss yeah, Liz. You, you hush up. That's foul talk. Well, you could just cool off that fever in the cold water a little more longer. Easter, you come back here with my clothes. I'll whip your hat. I swear I will. Come on and walk me then. Oh, come on, Easter. This is beyond a joke. Promise me you gonna come and see me more often. I'm not gonna promise you. You're a slave. Get your tail out of here. Do what I tell you. Get dressed, young master. There is God. Yes, Father. We all believe in God. <sighs> there is God in everyone. My pleasure to serve your daddy as overseer, sir. And it would be my pleasure to serve you. Thank you, sir. Our sincere condolences, sir. We are all at your disposal.
have to make a decision about Lizzie. I mean, it's been months, and we just can't have her dangling like this. I know. I know. Of course, if there's someone else. No, Lizzie's the one. I, well, I just... Well, then what are you waiting for? James? Love, I suppose. Love can come later. Duty must come first. say it means the end of the world. And some folks say it the star that guide the wise men to Bethlehem. I would child. And you got nothing to say? Plenty. It's not their mouth, Pete. They say it hurts, you know. And you never could stand lick a pain. other so long. You must think I'm an awful slow coach. But everyone's always said that we make a splendid couple. So why don't we prove them right? Will you marry me? Oh, Jay. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Be a good wife. Give you fine sons.
South in all its glory, and not a Negro invited. Mm. Are you still smarting about that? It was a disgrace. Blacks in such proximity to white women. We must be constantly on guard. Oh. Miscegenation will be the downfall of the South. Well, I've seen plantation children you could swear no by. We all have. And in that cesspool, New Orleans... We ladies should be tired. Excuse me, master. Slave child, just been born. That's good news, Captain Jack. Give the mother our congratulations. Yes, ma'am, I surely will, ma'am. And Easter is doing just fine. Easter? She does the weaving. <laughs> Feel well. Wine. Heat. Excuse me. I should get some uh, sick headaches. Lizzie, dear. I won't marry him. Yes, you will. <laughs> This is the richest union that you could ever make. You will have a long engagement. And you will become used to the idea and grateful for it. Why, if it were not for the slave girls, we women would have to submit to our husbands whenever they feel healthy. The papa, too. All men are the same, dear. Lecherous brutes. Oh. <laughs> Hush the bye. Don't you cry. Go to sleep, little baby. When you wake, you have some cake. And all the pretty little horses Paint and gray, sorrel and bay Hush, don't you cry Go to sleep, little <laughs> Little princess In the whitest cotton Life will not be easy. She looks as white as you are. Does she have a name? Captain Jack calls her Princess. You men in the havoc you cause.
was a bad. Not that easy. Liar. Mm. I could hear you all the way at the big house. While I was proposing to Lizzie. Could you take a wife? You need a son. But I have the best of Congratulations, cuz. I thought you'd never get around to it. Well, you know me, Sam. I like to be sure. <laughs> now, this child is adorable. Who's is she? Guess. <laughs> uh, you rascal, you. <laughs> Did I tell you that I'm going to be lecturing at Harvard next year? I must say, she is a lovely child. Mm. She's a darling. She'll make a splendid companion to any daughters Lizzie might have. Such a sensible arrangement. Although it's taken Lizzie a while to get used to the idea. I don't know what I'd do without our slave girls. Mr. Perkins is a regular demon, you know. Yes. The place is looking splendid, Jane. Your father would be proud. I think we're doing well. Salt in summer way for a rainy day, I hope. There are some storm clouds out there. Oh, nothing serious, surely. These abolitionists are becoming quite strident. And these new northern politicians may take up their cause. The end of slavery wouldn't be the end of the world. It'd be the end of the South. Without We'd have labor. to diversify. I don't see you getting out of cotton, Jane. Well, here she is. And looking so beautiful. Thank you, Papa. I need to steal my groom for a minute, please. My, aren't you the pretty little thing? Whose little girl are you? Why, she's just as white as cop. How was I supposed to know she's Negro? Yes, sir. Niggas are working real hard for you today, sir. We should be done by the seat. Very good. Master says y'all are working pretty good today. But if you like to eat, you'll work a little harder. You like them sweet potato things? Move it. You hear me? What's that one? Ten. <laughs> hey. Stop that. Anybody find out you learn how to read, we all get whooped. Or worse. Well, she got to learn, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> no, child, that's, that's elephant. 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 Right. What's elephant? Well, see, an elephant is a great big old animal with a long, long <laughs> nose. <laughs> he live in Africa. That's where my mammy and pappy came from, and all your family. My mammy, Cherokee. I never been to Africa. Well, Africa is a beautiful country. Long, long way from here, though. Is that where my pappy is? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> no, child. But, but your daddy is a very important man, so you got to learn good, work hard, you know, make him proud of you. Stop it, Queen. Don't you ever think about your pappy. 
don't matter to you. And you stop to put fancy ideas in her head, reading and stuff. She a slave. And always gonna be one. Slaves gonna be free one day. Everybody talking about it. I tell you, the day is coming when Us we ain't gonna be around to see it. Well, maybe and maybe not. But Queen sure will be. And when that better day come, we got to be ready for it. <laughs> there ain't no use in having freedom if you can't use it. If you ain't got learning, you know, to better ourselves. See, all I do is dream of that better day for her. Well, you go on and dream, but you let that child be. That day will come. You'll see. That day will come. too when I was little. Why do they do that? Because I'm different. Because I look white. Because I read. <laughs> Queen, don't ever tell anyone that you can read. Some people wouldn't like it. They might try to hurt you. But my baby would have stopped it, like you stopped those. <laughs> Captain Jack, take this child to the kitchen. Get her a sweet. <laughs> she been in trouble, Miles? No. No trouble at all. <laughs> Sarah Dan got some cookies in that kitchen for you. <laughs> How about some ice cold milk, too? <laughs> What you look for? Nothing. What are these? Nothing. What's that? Nothing. This soup is delicious. Why is everyone so glum? Politics. Something women shouldn't bother their pretty heads about. Don't be patronizing, dear. Of course it bothers us. All that Yankee talk about the abolition of slavery. Whatever did we do? And that dreadful business with Nat Turner killing white women and children. We could all be murdered in our beds. And my baby. What baby? My baby. Congratulations. That's wonderful, oh. Lizzie. Of course, I'm hoping for a boy. Oh, boy. Girl, I don't care. Just the thought of a baby. Thank you, Lizzie. You did have something to do with it, James. <laughs> we'll have to fix up the nursery, Mother, and find a good nanny. And of course, the child will need a slave. There's plenty of time for that. Oh, well, there's no harm in looking. We'll need the best. Unless, well, the queen could come and live here and be a companion for him or her. And, and, and they could grow up as friends. No. And she could help out around the house. Do you really think that's a wise idea? I think it's an excellent idea, Mother. They say, I am so pleased. 
When will it be? No. She'll be raised with my children. She'll have all the advantages. But she all I had. She'll still be yours. I want this Easter. It's best for her. Come see you every night. He my pappy. You hush up at your pappy, Queen, before I take a switch to you. He ain't here, and that's all there is about it. You just know that your mammy love you. And your master love you too. Just like it was your pappy. You should have used the back door. You may go. I still gonna see you again, Missy? Of course you will. This is another house, not another country. But you should know. This is the master's decision. I do not approve of it. But since it is to be, the child will be given every advantage. She will be trained as a lady's maid with all the necessary etiquette. So when you see her, keep your distance. I don't want to learn in your Negro ways. I only want the best for her, Missy. What you want has nothing to do with it. We own her. Now, say goodbye and go. You gonna be a fine lady queen. You gonna live in a big old house. Just like I always told you. And you be good. You do as you's told, you hear me? Just like you. Just like you have a new mammy. I am her mistress, not a mammy. Come along, queen. <laughs> Lovely. Now, come on, the shops will be closed before we get there. Want to fight America. Cause of slavery? Speak when you're spoken to, Queen. 
Looks like war. All those soldiers. It's just a lot of fuss and bother about nothing. Jane, you can go window shopping, but be careful. Don't talk to any strange men. Well, everyone knows us here, Mama. No, there are a lot of strangers in town. Queen, keep the company. You have money for a cool drink? Yes, Mama. We don't speak to strange men. Oh, we're not strange. Just strangers. And we just want to be friends. You pay no attention to them. Oh, now, now don't be so heartless. We've come to enlist for the war, and you just might be the last pretty lady we talked to in <laughs> years. We might even die. So how about it? Come on, just one little bitty kiss for a soldier on his way to glory. Leave me alone. Huh? Huh? <laughs> that didn't hurt a bit. How dare you did. kiss my slave? I'm surprised at you. I thought you were a southern gentleman. Come on, let's go. How the hell was I supposed to know the bitch looks white? Well, keep her off the streets. Put a sign on her or something. Are you all right, Queen? I was scared. They're just poor white trash. I don't want no one. And I hate them soldiers. I must say, he's quite a catch. <laughs> Never thought I'd nab me a real live overseer. Some more tea, Mrs. Henderson? Why, thank you. No, Miss Jackson. I have had an elegant sufficiency. I am so sorry. The time just slipped away. Is this your bride, Miss Palmer? It was, sir. Of Charleston. Aren't you the sly one, Henderson, keeping your pretty wife a secret? But it happened so fast, sir, on my leave. I took one look at him, and I said to myself, I said, Letitia, I think that is the man for you. Young ladies, do not listen at doors. Upstairs at once, it's a bearer. Oh, my dear mother's heart is broken, of course, that I'm living so far away from home. And my poor father, all this talk of war, and me getting wet. His only comfort these days is the jam. Mm. <laughs> Isn't she awful? Why did he marry her? Don't want to end up an old maid, I guess. He can't keep his eyes off her, and that's enough. Men are so funny when they're in love. Harry Peter says he loves me all the time, and he gets all sweaty every time he says it. But he wants to be a preacher, and I don't think that'd be fun. I'm going to marry a prince on a white horse. Oh, Queen, don't be silly. You're just a raggedy, itty-bitty slave girl. Who's gonna marry you? Somebody will, one day. Now I lay me down to sleep, pray the Lord my soul to keep. And please, don't let Harry become a preacher and send a nice slave for Queen. <laughs> Amen. Good night, Queen. Good night, Miss Jean. I suppose it wouldn't be too bad being a preacher's wife. But I'd rather he was something dashing. Another game. I'm going to bed. Are you coming up? A little while. I might get some air. Don't be too long. No, of course. Just the my love. Is there going to be a war, James? Oh, maybe, but I doubt it. It's probably just a lot of hot air. You know how these things are. The politicians will puff and puff until the last moment, and then everyone will back down and find a sensible solution. Pray God you're right. It frightens me so.
Such a pretty night. What's wrong? Abraham Lincoln has been declared president-elect. Southern states up in arms about it. Mississippi's already talking about seceding from the Union. So South Carolina. It's going to be a war, Easton. Cause of slavery? Oh, they'll say it's for the South. States' rights. Can't have a bunch of Yankees in Washington telling us how to run our affairs. You gonna fight? Yes. For slavery? No. For what then? For, for the land. For honor for everything my father worked for. To hold on to what's ours. To keep us safe. We've been good to you. Yes, missus. You've been very good to me. I've tried. I hope you're happy. Yes, ma'am. You'd say that even if you weren't. You're such a pretty child. You remind me of those portraits that I've seen of the Empress Josephine. Ma'am? She was this lovely French girl from the island of Martinique. And she came to Paris and captured the heart of the Emperor Napoleon. And their court was the grandest of all Europe. And they had a vision of a great empire. That was my husband's dream, to conquer the wilderness, to make a new society. <laughs> and here we are at war with one another. Brother pitched against brother. And all that work undone. Mammy, you dressed up like a soldier, going for war. I don't want him to die. Damn, now, Queen, he come home safe. You can't know that. I ain't never tell you no lie. Not even about my pappy. You always told me that he left us and went away. But the other slaves laugh at me, talk about me behind my back. They tell me that the massa, my pappy. Is it? Is that true? Don't listen to him, Queen. It don't matter. It does matter. It matters to me. It's like half of me missing. I love you, Mammy. The black me. But who the other side of me? The white me. Where she came from? I love child. I swear for God, from love. It's all right, Jane. Jane, it's all right. 
be home soon. to see you go. I hate to have to go. Be brave. Do your duty. I can't bear. Phone Queen. You bad. Some of you will have heard that this war is being fought for and against slavery. That is not true. The South is fighting for the right to protect its own way of life. The alternative is too dreadful to imagine. Now, you've all heard the stories of what happens to your people up north, Hunger, sickness, poverty. This is not our way. When you are sick, we tend you. When you are hungry, we feed you. When you are old, we care for you. And when you die, we bury you. That is our Christian duty. And now I ask that you all kneel and pray with me. Oh, Heavenly Father, our creator and provider, we pray to you now in this our hour of need. We beg for peace, O oh Lord, and an end to this war. And we beg that in your infinite wisdom, you spare lives that would needlessly be lost in battle. And we humbly ask that in your mercy, you bless and protect our beloved son, James. Keep him safe from harm and bring him home again to the bosom of his family. But if his time on earth is done, we beseech you to receive him in paradise and attend him with angels. Amen. Lieutenant, they're coming in. It's more than we can handle. 
Guts out to keep you with us. Uh, did, did we win? Oh, yeah, we won. Bull run is ours, cousin. Then God be thanked. I wouldn't have wanted to die for nothing. Parson Dick, how your back doing? It ain't doing so good. Good bother, man. I know you ain't used to being out here. I ain't happy about it, but we're gonna be all right. I'll get you some water, all right? And <laughs> hey, what y'all laughing at? Queen. If y'all was working, Parson Dick wouldn't have to be out here. Yeah. Miss Sally, what you doing out here? This ain't no place for you, Miss Sally. I learned from the master. I, I can't read it. My eyes. What, Miss Lizzie can't read? You think I want to know my business? Here. I can't do it. I know you can. It again in love. What is the matter now? Who's gonna whip you for it now? Here, read it. Read it. All right, Miss Sally. My dearest mother, mm -hmm. I hope this letter finds you well. The master's been wounded. He's coming home. He's been discharged. He's coming home. <laughs> Your homecoming. <coughs> <coughs> what is wrong with you? That's fine. This is making some broth for Miss Lissy. No, you're not fine. I'm gonna help you. Go out 
out in the field like some nigger slave. You too old, Miss Sally. You just too plumb old to break your back picking cotton, husking corn. None of us would be here if it wasn't for you. <clears throat> now it's your time to rest. It used to be pretty good at picking cotton. We used to put our hands to all sorts of things back in the early days. Mistress playing the card. I can't do it anymore. What happened to Miss I Lizzie? Can't. We gotta get this field Wait. done by sunset. Come on. What is this? Miss Jackson, what are you doing out in the field oh, cutting cotton? Queen needed me. So Queen is in charge now? Queen can order the mistress of the house out into the fields like some common nigger? Somebody had to, Miss Henderson. There ain't enough of us niggers left. Don't you sass me, girl. Don't you ever sass me. Or you will regret it to the end of your days. I do need a rest, Queen. You come with me, Miss Jackson. Oh. Come on. There's some water over here. Some water. Oh, pray God. Let it be. Master Jane. It was a horrible epidemic. There was nothing we could do. Nothing. Dear God. No. <coughs> now, don't you argue with me. You're going to bed. I'll be fine, Missy. Sorry I ain't come yesterday, Mammy. But I had a lot to do. Hope you didn't miss me too bad. Things ain't too good around here, Mammy. Half the slaves gone up north. Some of them said they're gonna fight. I do the cooking now. And the cleaning of Parson Dick. And Miss Sally. She too old. Miss Lizzie always sick. Captain Jack, he ain't right in his head. Keep saying freedom gonna come for all of us. Like he always knew it would. Say we can all live here. Go soon. 
don't know where I gonna go, mammy. This here my home. These here my family. It's all right, Queen. I come see most every day when I can. I've been watching you, Queen. You work hard. I'm sorry when I'm more help to you. Ain't your place, Master. Sometimes I wonder where my place is. Don't hate yourself so much, Master. I... We love you. I'm going back. I'm going to form a regiment of my own. I'm going back to fight. No, Master. Would you mind? Queen for a little while. You fought. You were wounded. That's enough, Lizzie. I, what if the Yankees come? They'll never get this far south. They might. Then it's my job to try and stop them. Sergeant, lead them out. As you can see, a depleted family. There are no men for here. Apart from these few slaves. I trust you mean no harm to us. We mean no harm to anyone, ma'am. Who is loyal to the Union. I cannot swear allegiance to your flag, sir. I believe in a different cause. Well, you believe in any cause you like. As long as you do not try to fight us. I don't think that you would win. We are your prisoners, and we'll do as we are bid. We're taking no prisoners. You're free to go about your peaceful business. However, there are some other things. My men are hungry. 
We have very little. You will be given a voucher to the value of what we take. And as your local militia destroyed the bridge to delay our advance, we have orders to seize cotton to pay for its repairs. That is our only income. It's of no value to you now. This area is under federal jurisdiction. Your local cotton mills will be destroyed. You will not harm us, but you will bankrupt us. I have my orders, ma'am. Sir, you will kindly arrange an escort for me. Ma'am. If you are going to destroy our only means of livelihood, I intend to be there to watch. It would be an honor for me, ma'am, to escort you myself. How would you have us live now? I lost two brothers in this war. Killed by Johnny Reb. I don't care how you live. Or if you live. Out of trouble, cousin. I don't think I can save that arm. Oh. I'll be discharged again. Not this time, James. Girls don't need two good arms, but we do. We need every man we can get. for a long time. I have your paper here. Yeah. The master gave it to me years ago. He said one day that you'd be asking for it. Now, you stop always talk about dying, yeah? Mr. 
We've been together for a long time. Huh? I mean, we have done some things. Didn't <laughs> I, didn't we? Mm -hmm. You knew old Master James before I did. <laughs> you remember how we set him up? I told you where he went riding. And you was there nursing your baby by your first late mm. husband. So much more myself than I should. <laughs> well, look at you. He was gone. <laughs> oh, we <he> had some time. <laughs> Oh, oh. <coughs> oh, oh, Queen. This here, we had his grandchild. Don't ever let her be sold away from here. Please. There. Soon she will be free. All the slaves will be free. All the slaves be free. Very soon. Oh, sweet Jesus. Then this must be. This must be that better day. Maybe now he'd see the promised land. What you doing? I'm leaving. I'm going to Virginia, see if I can find my brothers and my sisters, then maybe on up north. But this here where you belong. No. No, Queen. Not anymore. I am free. I don't belong to no man, and neither do you. If I was you, I'd get as far away from this plantation as I could. But these here my family. Colonel Jackson, he my pappy. What you expect your pappy to do? Take you into the bosom of his family? Tell the whole world that this little Negro girl here is my daughter? No. Queen, gonna be some hard times coming for everybody. White folks gonna stick together like glue. They ain't about to admit that these mulattoes and quadroons and octoroons running around this plantation as they can. And as for you, you don't mean nothing to them. They won't even admit that you exist. Ain't true. Ain't true. They love me. Glad he died free. Thank you. You're free too. Free to go where you will, do what you will. Thank you. Where will you go? I serve you. Work for you. We have no place for you here. But this is my home. Listen to me very carefully. The world as we knew it has gone, and it can only get worse. We cannot feed the family even now. And after the war, I, I don't know what we'll do. Well, I help you. I cook, I clean, I tend the garden, I do everything. We love you, and we have tried to do right by you. But you are a Negro, 
and you are a slave. And times will be hard, and your best place will be with your own people. My pappy won't let you turn me away. You must never think of Colonel James as your father. You're a child of the plantation, just like a thousand others. You my people. This my family. Miss Sally. Miss Sally. You my family. 